Hello there, it's me, Sari here again, and today I'm here to show you what I've started working on when it comes to my stamps. As you know, stamps come in various packages. They could be either clear stamps or even cling stamps or just rubber stamps that are not mounted or they could be mounted and they all come in these different kinds of packages and after a while I mean I've been gathering stamps for let's say 12 years now and I must say that I'm sort of overwhelmed by the stamps you know in the first uh, time of my collecting I even collected these wood mounted black block stamps and they were really heavy and space consuming and then there are the stamps from Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous, and not to forget about the stamps from Vilda Stamps. Lots and lots of stamps from Vilda Stamps down there. It's a Swedish company. And then you might sometime even get a set of stamps coming in a big set of these. And, and how on earth are you going to store this? So I have made a decision. I mean, I've been thinking about it for quite some time now, but right now... I have started on this humongous work of collecting and sorting my stamps after type. So mostly I have I just keep my stamps in um, stamp stamp stuff chainers like this. And at first I just used it for my clean, uh, to my rubber stamps that I have mounted on easy mount just to be able to put them on an acrylic block and just stamp later. So this is what it has looked like for quite some time. But right now, for the last two weeks, I've been stamping as a maniac, really. So what I've done is I just sort of gather together some stamps from here and there. And in this case, I actually have some stamps from Tim Holtz from several sets. And I have just combined them together. And I thought that I'd have some fun stamping them in various colours. That also sort of brightens up my day when I'm browsing through my stamps. Here I've got lots of stamps from Finnabear's um, pattern stamps and uh, texture stamps as well as something else up here. And as you can see, some of the stamps I have made these pages for, which show what stamps are included, uh, whilst other ones are just like they are because they are already cling mounted and they have the picture on top or on the back side so you can see what kind of stamps that container contains. Here I have some stamps from Vilda Stamps, together with something else, I suppose. And just imagine having these stamped in colour. It could be really fun, actually, just to look at them. So, as you can see, I've gathered together some of my favourite stamps here. Lots of wonderful texture. Crafter's Companion, I, I believe most of those are from. And here are some miscellaneous stamps from Fancy Pants, from those big packs that I showed you just recently. And here are some uh, different ones, Inca Dinka do, I'm sorry, Inca Edo. Here are some more from Prima Marketing Incorporated. And here are something else. Could be both reprint and gummy opband and various. And I'll just browse through. And this is something designed by Rin. Lovely drops. Just look at them. Really beautiful. So you can make really fantastic uh, creations there. Google for designs by Rin. R-Y-N and you can see lots of beautiful things here are some stamps from uh, a Swedish company the circle ones the ones here are Tango Design and the other ones I believe could be something that Pusselskafferiet in Gongester just outside Borås is selling really nice ones unfortunately unfortunately, they, they don't have a web shop right now they are restarting it so be patient they might be coming back there and here are something else from Vilda Stamps. And here are some have something different. It seems like some of them I actually ought to re-stamp because I have moved, uh, example, this stamp into another system on these sort of panels. And these are from Gummi Open. So I'm just trying to somewhat keep things together. Here are something else. Here are some else. Some more stamps from Vilda Stamps. Cogwheels and Steampunk. And in this case, I'm just storing stamps that I've made of my own, die cutting them with a die or so, and then mounted them on some easy mount. And here are some stamps with a love theme, and here is something with a Halloween theme. And here I just look at this. 
Have I had I not started stamping, I wouldn't have realized that I had this many skeleton and skull stamps that have to do with toxic and something like that. So I'm thinking you can make really fun background pieces of paper like for that. Then I'm going to move on to some text stamps from Tim Holtz in this case. And I do have three containers filled with stamps from Tim Holtz. You can see that I've co collected and gathered these stamps for quite some time. This is something else, something with a nature theme. And now moving back to the Tim Holtz stamps there. And here is something else, Swedish stamps combined with some English texts, I suppose. Could be reprint and uh, slow detailer and such. Here are something from Heidi Swap, and they, they came in really small, clear packages because they are clear stamps. But I just thought that I would have a better look at the, the, st the stamp itself, having it like this. And here are something else from Tango Design. It's a Swedish company. Here are something else. Here is something else. I'm just using the wrong words, I, I fear. Something else there, and even more Swedish text stamps. So you can see it's really easy to just find the stamp you're looking for. Then we come to the nature themed stamps. Lots of goodies in here. Just look at these wonderful, wonderful stamps. Nelly's Choice, no, most of these. Just trying to keep the camera together. I'm just dividing them with a piece of carton like this from a set of watercoloring papers. Look at those beautiful branches and flowers and so I'm hoping by this method I'll have an easier time cat stamps elephants birds Tim Holtz's birds butterflies even more butterflies owls butterflies and birds Hang on, two more sets to show. Here are some miscellaneous travel themed stamps or just different sorts of stamps that you could use when I'm when, when you're using making some uh, collage stamped pieces. Here is something from Vilda stamps with, with a travel theme. Suitcases, maps and such, even more maps and tags words with the travel theme and some postage stamps i mean this is really fun i must say because i have found some from something from stockholm copenhagen helsinki there are very few finnish stamps i must say oslo south africa some of these come from marianne design really good stamping company i must say when it comes to making fun stamps for a low cost and then there are those really fun words to put if you're making a postcard of your own or something even berlin is here i do have berlin there on the left and then i have it down or on in the on the right and i do believe i have another one so it's fun to have stamps from those places that you've actually been to even more words that have to do with travel and even more and in here I actually combine them with some fishing trip stamps as well from Kaiser Craft amongst other brands here is something with a fishing theme or perhaps a, a nautical theme really nice looking crafters companion I see that bird and most of those stamps come from here is something from graphic 45 it could be that they are collab collaborating with the uh, Hampton Art and then there is something from Sheena Douglas from crafters companion here is something from Viva Decor, um, my paper art or something that's called. Lots of beautiful sea themed stamps there. Even more nautical themed stamps from Kaiser Craft amongst other. And even more with a nautical theme. And then we come to vehicles and some of these are from uh, Gummi Opa, I'm sorry, um, Vilda stamps and... Inca Dinka do I believe some of these and something else and it was also I see the car down here it's uh, Crafty Secrets I believe even more vehicles I could be AAA or something I've been looking for pictures for these I haven't found them because these are stamps that I bought really really early in my hoarding days and then there are some car stamps from Tim Holtz and lots of cars, Vilda stamps there, Vilda stamps, and uh, something else. And trains, just look at those trains. I'm sure that Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory would really be happy about those. 
bicycles, Vilda stamps, and there's a motorbike also down. And look at those hot air balloons and aeroplanes. I like these even more of the same theme. And some of the stamps come in various sizes because some different companies have decided on just taking them and making them into their stamps. Hot air balloons and clouds and kites could have been there. And then we come to the really fun bits. Here is something nice. Stamps from cities and um, sort of landmarks. London. I actually managed to stamp the flags in different colours. And here is actually room to fit in more stamps with the London on our English theme. More stamps from Tim Holtz and uh, something. It wasn't quite individual, so was it? Something else here. Stampenders, I believe that one is from. And these are from, could it be Paper Mania or something? English, British. New York and America. Various stamps there. The same thing goes for that bit. Love those, those silhouettes, landscapes there. Or the cityscapes. And then I found I had a really lot of stamps from with a Paris or France theme. There seems to be an Eiffel Tower in every goddamn stamp package I buy. You can see lots of Eiffel Towers. So I believe I could be cleaning out some of these stamps soon because I don't need to need that many now, do I? This is and then there's something I found it up it Italy, Rome, Venice, the leaning tower of Pisa. And then I have something with a musical theme. I really like looking at these like this. So I have combined words and some of those pictures there. Here are some musical stamps from Vilda stamps. Really like those. And then there are some more in this one. A lot of these are from Vilda stamps. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Then I have something from Dark Room Door. And I combined a couple of different sets there. And then I have something with a circus theme, fun and games, and numbers from Tim Holtz. Just Tim Holtz's numbers. And then, I believe this is my favourite category of all of them, cameras. Cameras, cameras, I like cameras. Just look at how many different kinds of cameras there are. Vilda stamps up in the right corner, or even that one and that one. And then there are some from different brands. And then there's another camera D here. I like that one and that one as well. Even the film strips and everything. I mean, there's so much. They're so graphical and nice, I think. Look at that one. Just beautiful stamps. And it's really fun to use these when it, come, when it comes to making collage stamping. Here is something with a film theme. It sort of has to do with cameras and taking pictures, but taking a lot of pictures. Here is something with a sort of a detective theme, mysterious book reading and such. And who done it? Lots of question marks and the Sherlock Holmes. And then we come to the artist bit. I do have a lot of these as well, with paintbrushes and pens and everything. And just look at this one. Really fun, colourful in the end. And then I used some of the Tim Holtz stamps, quote stamps even here, the things that have to do with creativity. So that's about it, and I can see myself going going on like this forever because there's even more stamps here, you see, and here. And then I'm not talking about the alphabet stamps or the number stamps. For my goodness, I've got lots of stamps, and I've got lots of lots of time to spend stamping. So, not to mention the ones up there because the those are. Let me just show you. So you can, you can steal your curiosity. Here are some Christmas theme stamps. I'm not going to get into them right now because I'm not in a Christmassy mood. Now am I? So I have to save them for later. But then I do have lots of figure stamps. Could be something from Kenny K. Could be Prima. Could be, you know, you know the greeting farm. Things like that. So I'm just thinking that, should I keep them like this or should I have another system for them? I'm not sure. But still, this is where I am. Hope to be able to come back to you soon. And just to come to think of it, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So I could just end things off with this one. But I have used lots of stamps to com combine them into that sort of a lovey duffy collage stamped statement. Hope to be back soon again and enjoy your stamps.
while they last. Bye-bye.